Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today's video will not be about film or film photography at all. It'll be all digital. I'm sorry for that. Please don't hate me. I just recently bought myself a digital medium format camera, namely the Fujifilm GFX 50S. This thing here. Nice piece of technique. Well, why would a film photographer buy such a camera? The reasons are super simple. I need a camera, a digital camera, that would fit the look and feel of my film photography because I have more and more customers asking me for my pictures, saying, hey, yeah, we love the look and feel of your pictures, we, we love everything, like the style, blah, blah, but we need them in digital, because we have a fast turnaround and we need them within a few hours already edited. This is not possible for me with film, not under the conditions that I use film. And since the customer is king, I decided to buy a digital camera that would fit the look and feel. Uh, and besides that, uh, also film prices have been really going up and I was not able to shoot as much personal projects as I would have loved to shoot on film anymore because it's simply too expensive for me. And this thing will also help me to create more personal projects again. So. It's a win-win situation. I bought this camera off the used market, so it's not new. Uh, I could not afford such a camera new because it's just too expensive. I bought it with uh, a 63 millimeter lens. It's an original Fuji lens. It was also used, so that's the reason why I bought it. And with two vintage Mamiya lenses because the original lenses are so expensive. I'm not ready to pay this right at the moment. Now, some people will ask themselves, Damn, why was he buying the GFX 50S and not the new GFX 50S 2 The reasons for that are super, super simple. I do not need IBIS, which is the main selling point of this camera. And besides that, it has an improved autofocus and uh, a shorter blackout time. Blackout time meaning I'm taking a picture, my screen or my viewfinder becoming black for a certain time before I can continue taking pictures. That's not a problem for me. Autofocus is luxury. My RB67 has no autofocus, so I'm used to shoot manual focus, so I do not care too much about autofocus. And I'm mainly shooting under very controlled conditions, meaning controlled lighting environment or during good weather outdoors. Um, so IBIS is not something that I urgently need, at least not right at the moment. Right at the moment, this is exactly what I wanted and they have the exact same sensor and share the same image quality so for me there was absolutely no reason to buy the new model. Now I actually already bought this camera a while ago but until now I had no time to properly test it and I would never ever dare to buy a new camera and take it straight to a customer shoot. I'd never do this. I at least shoot two or three personal projects with a camera to get to know it better, to understand how it works under different lighting conditions uh, all those things. So I had no time to do this just now because I had too much work to do and well that's the reason why I'm gonna test the camera just now. So today's mission will be the following thing. Um, since models aren't too easily available and my shooting style does not re really fit YouTube, I'm mainly shooting nude art and portraiture photography and YouTube does not like that too much. So I decided to go out and shoot some landscape, aka, um, well, lost place photography on a former German military base which is now open to the public. You can go there, ride your bike, go jogging and whatever. Um, what I will do there is, well, taking some general pictures of the surroundings and I will also put on a, a mist filter onto my lens uh, because it seems to be a thing on YouTube so I'm gonna do it as well. I'm gonna check how it looks but I will only do this for a few images because in general I'm not a, not too big of a fan of mist filters. I'm using one right now but I don't even know how this video will look afterwards. I hope it, it, it won't look too smooshy. Smooshy? Smooshy? I don't know. Smudge. Unsharp. Out of focus. I don't know. Blurry. Yeah, that's the word. I hope it won't look too blurry. So I will mark the pictures that are shot with a mist filter as shot with a mist filter. And at the end of the video, I will also show you some straight out of the camera JPEGs also marked as such. Um, I don't know why you would want to buy such an expensive medium format camera um, and then shoot JPEGs with it, but 
people seem to be interested in those film simulations, so I'm, well, try out a view and show them to you. What brings me to one of my last comments? Guys, I know it's not a real medium format sensor. It is something between full frame and medium format, but really, I know it and I do not care because I like the look and feel of the camera. I've been on YouTube, I watched all the videos, all of them. And comment number two being, since I already told you I'm not really a landscape photographer, um, but nude art and portraiture, I'm not really good in taking landscape pictures. So neither am I good at taking the pictures, nor am I good in editing them. So please do not judge my work based on these pictures. It's really just testing the camera and nothing else. It's, it's nothing special. Uh, yeah, now let's just go out and have fun shooting some images. Yes, I hope you liked the video. If so, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, and also, if you already have this camera or you're thinking about to buy this camera, please tell me in the comments what you like about it and maybe you also have some tics, tics, tips and tricks for me uh, that I do not know yet about this camera. Um, 
yeah, just leave them down in the comments. Do not forget to subscribe and to hit the bell button. Also, give me some thumbs up. It's important. YouTube likes it. Thanks. Bye.